Kirisame Marisa, known for her giant laser, has a whole host of abilities and spell cards tucked away for use in combat. Not much is known about them other than their destructive powers. Nonetheless, we shall take a closer look at her arsenal and dissect Marisa's armaments. Before we dive into Marisa's stash, we need to take a look at Marisa herself. Kirisame Marisa is an ordinary human capable of using magic, also known as a magician or a witch. She resides in the Forest of Magic, a dense forest dark enough to house a large amount of mushrooms which Marisa uses to make potions, materials, and medicine. This might be partly the reason why Marisa is so powerful, due to her skill and experience in that area. For the most part, Marisa is a fairly powerful magic user, especially as a human because she trains hard and practices often to match Reimu in terms of ability. To beat Reimu, Marisa has a few things up her sleeve. Before starting, we need to make clear the difference between a shot and a spell card. A shot is a character's usual firing stance. It's the Ziki in the games. Conversely, we don't know what spell cards are exactly, but we do know that when characters go into a spell card trance, their ability to cast more powerful magic is granted. For instance, it allows Reimu to conjure her fantasy seal, a spell card which tries to trap her enemies. In the games, spell cards are the bombs of a character. They're the specials with limited use. It's the X key. We'll first take a look at Marisa's shot. Marisa is fast, one of the fastest in Gensokyo, and this is mirrored in the games with her usually being the fastest option out of all the characters. One of her shot types complements her speed, Illusion Laser. Illusion Laser is Marisa's go-to laser, featured in most games. It deals generally moderate damage and has a small radius, but it can damage multiple enemies at the same time. It's very useful when you have to hit the boss and their minions, but other than that, it's a good shot type. Another popular choice is one that is more reminiscent of who she is, her magic missiles. Her magic missiles are very slow projectiles. It takes a while for them to pick up speed, and it also doesn't damage multiple enemies at the same time. However, it has one notable strength, its damage. For a shot type, her magic missiles actually cause quite a bit of damage, more so than her usual illusion laser, and are especially effective against bosses. If timed correctly, you can take advantage of the missile's slow speed to hit enemies from across the screen. Moving on to spell cards. Love Sign Non-Directional Laser is one of Manisa's popular choices as a spell card. Using Love Sign Non-Directional Laser casts a number of narrow lasers which orbits around her trying to hit everything and everything in a 360 degree radius. If you look at Toho 6 Embodiment of Scarlet Devil, her non-directional laser is nowhere to be seen. This is because in Toho 6, Marisa didn't have this spell card. She only ended up acquiring it once she saw Patchouli Knowledge use it against her. After the events in EOSD, Marisa copied Patchouli's shot and made it into her own, a spell card dubbed Love Sign Non-Directional Laser. Another one of her spell cards is her magic sign, Stardust Reverie. First introduced as an amulet in EOSD, it later began to grow as Marisa's image, her stars. Stardust Reverie is a spell card which casts a number of small stars in a beautiful pattern which tries to kill everything in and around it. It's not an often used spell card, but it is notable. Finally, we arrive at our most well-known spell card, often the strongest spell card available in the games and present in almost every game. Love Sign Master Spark Love Sign Master Spark is the embodiment of Marisa's philosophy. Danmaku's all about firepower and Master Spark delivers. In its simplest form, it's a giant laser, able to incinerate everything in her path. She uses it for both research and combat. Master Spark has a number of derivatives, mostly shown in Reimu's battle against Marisa in Toho 8 Imperishable Night. In the game, Marisa is seen having the card Loving Heart Double Spark, which is just two Master Sparks, and Magic Cannon Final Master Spark, a Master Spark which swings across the screen. Just like Marisa's non-directional laser, her Master Spark is also not entirely her creation. It's likely she was inspired by Yuka Kazami and or Gengetsu's laser since way back in the PC-98 era. However, there is no official evidence to support this other than their looks and Marisa's habit of stealing.
Marisa's Master Spark is special, not only because it's a giant laser, but because it's powered by the mini hack kettle. Marisa's mini hack kettle, given by Rinosuke Morishika when she moved into the Forest of Magic, is a furnace which generates and stores an immense amount of heat and magical power. She uses this to power her Master Spark. Without it, no Master Spark. Marisa alone isn't strong enough to cast the spell. This is also partially the reason why Marisa is so powerful with magic, because of this tool. So, there you have it. Kirisame Marisa's personal arsenal with her favorite spell card powered by the mini hack kettle. If you want to know more, both the grimoire of Marisa and the grimoire of Usami show and explain more spell cards. Links in the description. Kirisame Marisa's decked out armory will stay in use for the foreseeable future.